Okay, so the thing that's happening right now is the list for the top 99 women of 2011 is out. And, um, you know, they were baffled at um, the selection for last year's sexiest woman and stuff. And the, the people that have done the list for the most desirable women are wondering, you know, what got into Esquire magazine and they're um, basically challenging their authenticity because it's like it's it's not accurate and they're saying that she doesn't um, meet the standards of the former um, candidates like uh, Jessica Bill, Scarlett Johansson, Angelina Jolie and Halle Berry. So they, they're saying they were stumped. They're saying um, she's not the sexiest woman alive. Um, and they are really, you know, seem, seem to be um, surprised and, and shocked that this has happened, especially when they deal with men's issues, I guess more so than, you know, um, someone who would choose her you know, uninformed, and it's an embarrassment to her because now she's not going to be able to meet that standard. It, it doesn't fit her. Like a Jessica Biel, Jessica Biel, Biel is beautiful, Scarlett Johansson is beautiful, Angel jo Lena Jolie is beautiful, Halle Berry is beautiful, and they all have a certain something about them. Um, so, you know, it, it's their, you know, I guess, and it's a desirability factor, that's for a man to see and whatever, but to put her on that list, the men are crying out, what in the world have you done? Like, how in the world do you do this? It doesn't make sense. And so they're trying to figure out, you know, what, what possessed them to put her on the list. And that's the crazy part. The crazy part is when the men start asking, you know, there are some horn dogs out there that they see a woman, she's naked, whatever they, or she, whatever they say, hey, you know, fine. You know, she takes over clothes, we like her. But these ones are not saying that because I guess it's not only about if you take your clothes off. They're saying, wait a minute, there's some other qualities that have to go on here. Okay, so your mother's a stripper. That doesn't automatically put you on a list. Just the field, Scarlett Johansson, Angelina Jolie, and Halle Berry. These are all the former winners, and they're saying these are the people who actually won because they fit the bill. But they're saying they were stumped collectively. And as most of the, the free world is, this is like, you know, Esquire magazine really um, shot themselves in the the foot and basically it's like they tore up their newspaper they tore up their magazine basically it's like if they took a, a, a match to their own business and said hey we don't want it anymore because you know it's like honestly it's like your integrity is now up in smoke yes um she ha has been benefiting by getting you know role offers and stuff like that but the only thing is that she can't act so that's going to work against her but They've gone out on the line to put her there because they, Esquire, thought she was going to be named, um, you know, um, Mrs. And that didn't happen in November 2010. She didn't become Mrs., but some of the ma main newspapers said it, she was getting married in 2010. She didn't get married in 2010. So this is their faux pas. And the obligatory um, last place is what she came in for 2011. They're saying we were stumped. Listen, can you imagine them giving her a spot on the list? 99, right? But they're still saying we were stumped. That tells me that it's obligatory now for them to give her 99, to put her somewhere on the list instead of, you know, leaving her off because now other people have included her. But some people aren't playing that game. Some people are saying, we're not going for that. She don't deserve to be on the list. And we don't care who tries to twist her arm. We're not doing it. That's called integrity. You know, you go with the real deal. Now, Halle Berry, Mika Kelly doesn't work. Angelina Jolie, Mika Kelly doesn't work. Um, Jessica Biel, Mika Kelly doesn't work. Scarlett Johansson, Mika Kelly doesn't work. There's no, no, I mean, if you look at them, you see 
there's a big difference. You know, the others are, are real beauties, and Mickey Kelly is like below average. And it's not being mean, this is being serious. Because if you want to try to crack into a business, you need to know what is going to suit you. And apparently, that's not what's suiting you, you know. But I guess, you know, if she, she's related to some people in the industry, so they're trying to pull strings for her, and she has to be seen in public with people. But the obligatory 99 is a sad deal. And my thing is, uh, hey, I I'll say you got it, but I'm going to say you got it wrong. I'm going to tell the truth. You, you got it the wrong way. You know, you got it because somebody felt obligated. And the co-star, um, Leighton Mista, got number 53. That's 46 whole cases up ahead. Like... Did they pick the wrong person? Esquire probably should have been picking Lake Meester. They're going to find out eventually. They should have picked Lake Meester. But that's not